now is none other than Ace. Hey Ace, congratulations on hey. the series. Hello, we cannot see you, but I'm sure you're there. There you are. You. Okay, we fixed it. We can see you now. Can you see us? Oh, okay. Not really. Okay. Well, just know that we see you, and that's uh, that's enough. We can hear you as well. It's a radio interview. <laughs> radio interview, yeah, but so good. Well, it is not because we can see him, but that is not the point. My question. I have a I have an offline question for you because I feel like over the last like two weeks and maybe even like five weeks or so we've seen the offlane change so much in terms of role. Obviously, you've got the universal heroes and then they got nerfed, and it feels like we see a lot of different ways that the teams are going in terms of what style of offlane they're going with. It's a little bit of a theoretical question. I I'm curious what your feel is of how the role offline should be played right now and what your role is within the team? Uh, like basically, before it was just Vanguard being very broken. Yeah. And now we are reaching a point where Vanguard is actually not that broken anymore. So now it's like switching a bit to different styles you can use. Uh, like I'm also not really sure myself right now, but I just know that the Vanguard meta is like not that broken anymore. So I'm just uh, kind of trying some different stuff now. Okay, and because at the moment, you, this two series, of course, you played Axe and Tide and Lycan. Uh, I guess Axe uh, and Tide, yeah. somewhat similar role-ish. Are, are we going towards a little mm. bit more of the team fighty offlaners? Uh, like, I don't, I don't know about Axe. I think Axe is a pretty <laughs> weird hero, like pretty bad hero. Uh, but team fight hero is pretty good. But like also, I could see some Sue maybe coming back a bit. Sue has always been like very strong stuff on the offlane. Like, you just uh, provide auras, you provide like vision with creeps and a lot of push power and stuff. So I could see it going into that, maybe. And, and you know I have to ask this question because we've seen yesterday especially, I'm sure you caught some of news and see Smile's Broodmother. You're, you're our Broodmother uh, specialist here. What, what are you thinking? If you're saying Zeus coming back, is, <laughs> is Brood going to be, you know, rising in popularity? Yeah, I definitely <laughs> think Brood will, uh, like, get in on the scene right now. I don't know exactly because, be, like before, Brood was OP because he bought auras as well, right? Now it's now it's different. Like Brood is like almost like a carry now, like a mid or carry. <laughs> there might actually be the best role to be mid or carry for this hero. But uh, yeah, also an offlane. It's Time for another role now. swap. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm staying on offlane. I like it on offlane. I'm gonna stay. Here. Good, good. I'm joined by Sheep, Purge, and Jenkins. I'd also like to ask you a few questions. All right, man. Hey, brother. Big question. Yeah, what's up? What do you think of Meepo's laning right now? <laughs> uh, like honestly, I haven't played so much. I only played those few games where you guys see me playing. <laughs> but uh, like, it can be pretty strong sometimes if you just kill passive and just hit the enemy, right? And you have to play against a melee hero to do that. Uh, but beside that, his skills are still all very bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he's, he's like pretty weak, but when he gets level 4, if he had a good uh, lane with level 4, he's pretty strong. Do you think he can... How do you think he plays if you have a bad lane? Like, say you picked him in those pro uh, games you did, and then your lane went to shit. Did you have like a backup plan in mind? Because I struggle with that. Like, I actually haven't I haven't tried that. Like, every time I played it, I kind of had a good lane. I think, uh, like, you're just going to have to like farm it up with max boof. I don't really see it. It's going to be a late timing. Yeah, it's a sad state of That's affairs. Fair. What can you do? Okay, and last quick question is, um, after you guys play a series, do you guys kind of just like leave voice call and stuff and like go take a break before you ever look at games again? Or do you kind of stay in Discord? Uh, I think it depends if we win or lose. <laughs> if we lose, sometimes people take a little break, uh, depending on how badly we lose, like how frustrated it is, right? Mm -hmm. Because then it can be nice to like reset a bit so people don't like get really mad. Uh, but generally, uh, we always like stay around a little bit and like feel like and talk about our games and stuff. If we win, we usually just like just uh, joke around and like talk about the games. Have a good time. All right, thank you. Uh, I have a question about Juggernaut. He seems to be trending a little bit. You guys beat him in game three. Got any yeah. uh, got any tips or solutions against him? Uh, it seems pretty strong. I don't know, I just don't, when I'm leaning against this hero, like, he hits twice before I can hit once. So that's so annoying, like, he just denies so your troops before you can even hit them. And he, I don't know, I hit this. I don't know. I don't know, he's not, like, overly OP or anything, I think. So I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, thanks. Good, good. Uh, hey, Big A, uh, great to see you. 
as somebody who partakes in the Bubby Q or Duo Q action, I'm wondering what your take is on this new immortal draft that we have in ranked. What do you think about that? Uh, like, it's pretty uh, weird when you do, because sometimes, like, you just don't get picked on the same team, and it's like, I don't know, why are you playing this game? <laughs> you basically you basically have to say, uh, pick me or ruin, then they will pick you on the same team if you want to party, right? Nobody ever But, like, it. if you don't stay that, like, I don't know, it can be pretty, pretty sad. So I don't really, I don't really like it. You and me both, brother. Yeah, I understand. If you're playing with the party, you want to play with the party. Ace, thank you for taking the time to answer our questions. Uh, we're going to let you go. And uh, um, I hope you. we get to talk to you again soon. Good luck for the series. Uh, I hope so. Uh, see you guys. Bye-bye.